Hey guys, it's Nathan from Geometry Gym here. Today I'm just going to show, I wanted to demonstrate some of the new features that we've um, implemented in our uh, SAP plugin um, and how you can modify existing models um, using some new components that we've added uh, to the plugin. This example is basically kind of going to show you um, how to remove elements from an existing SAP model which um, we might um, be trying to do a, um, a 3D, uh, we might be trying to do a grillage analysis in 2D for a slab and we, where we want to remove elements that aren't taking axial load um, or we might be looking to um, do something a bit more complex like a 3D um, uh, strut and tie um, method. Um, what I'm going to basically demonstrate here is how to set up a way that you can um, easily um, delete elements from an existing SAP model um, based on a, cri a criteria, in this, in this case um, the axial force which is going through that uh, member. So first what we're going to do is um, import that existing model so we can um, view um, the model in, within Rhino. Um, so I've got my import data component here and I've got the database insert set to true and what that means is it's basically going to load all the available uh, information into Grasshopper so I can start to access it um, from other components or from other SAT components um, that, are on the, that, that are on the canvas. Okay, so the, the SAP model's been imported and if you hover over the output of the curve elements, you can see that this model has uh, just over a thousand curve elements in it. Um, if I turn the preview on here, I can see that these, there's, a, there's a fair few elements in here and they've got quite um, large profiles defined to them. Uh, so this is I don't, um, basically a lattice structure which what we're, we're going to want to apply some loads and, and, and get rid of the members which, are, which have low axial force in them. So first what I'm going to do is uh, there's a couple of components which allow you to extract um, information from these um, elements. So I'm going to extract the, the axis of the, um, of the members um, and I'm also going to um, so the axis of the members, and I'm also going to extract the names of these members. And what I'm going to do is um, use Alifront um, to allow me to, to um, bake some, um, bake the axis geometry with a bunch of, um, with a key which basically tells me whether I want to include it, um, uh, whether I want it to be included in the updated model or, or excluded um, from the updated model. So this is basically just baking um, the simple geometry and, and attributes um, to, to Rhino. And so now I can see that I've got my, my model here. If I click on an element and um, hit get user text, um, I can see that I've got my frame name um, and the include parameter um, on that. So that's basically the first step. Um, and now what I can do is I can load back those, um, that frame elements, those frame elements into, um, into Grasshopper here. And I can, uh, basically I can um, pull in the geometry in true branches. So now I'm gonna get um, a geometry which has the, uh, the include key as true and the geometry which has the include key as um, false. Now because we've got our base geometry everything is true at the moment so you can see I've got over a thousand I've got zero members in the uh, in the false branch. From there I can basically split or explode those trees and get the get the um, geometry which I want to be included and the geometry which I um, want to be removed from that existing model and you can see here I've used my I've used a component which we've just um, introduced which is the modify frame element um, delete and you can find these components um, in a new SAP modified panel 
um, under the Geometry Gym um, plugin. There's a couple of other uh, modification um, components that we have here as well, such as um, nominate frame section, which um, will swap a frame section in an existing model. Um, also relocate point, which allows you to relocate um, nodes in an existing model. Um, so you can see here, uh, if we keep going along, uh, we've introduced a component which is a modify solve component. And what this does is it takes a target, um, a, a model path which is an existing um, file, and that's just going to be the file which we've imported um, in the first step here. And then it takes a list of modifications. So what um, modifications that I want to complete before I rerun that analysis um, and, and get, uh, get the results. So what, what I'm wanting to do here is basically I'm wanting to query the frame forces um, in the members that are in, um, which I'm not removing from the model. So this allows me basically to um, continue to decrease the amount of members that, that might be apparent in, in the model in, a, in an iterative process. Um, so in this first step, I'm going to solve this model and it's basically going to solve the original um, template model. So I can click modify solve. And it's going to solve the model for the, the load cases and combinations which I'm, um, which I'm specifying from the, uh, from the original model. So that's completed um, and, and I'm only wanting to basically get the axial force from, from one case um, which is my overturning case. Um, which has been defined in the template model. And then basically here, I've got my axial force in, in all these members. Now, I've set up a quick graph here, which basically shows um, the distribution of the axial forces in the members. And then what I can do is start to understand uh, which members I might want to keep and which members I might want to remove um, here based on simply based on a, an axial force um, value. So I can drag this along and you can start to see some of the members that are being removed from the model here. And 2.5 might be reasonably good um, for my first iteration. And then I can simpli simply modify my elephant, my elephant attributes um, to, to resemble what I want to um, do in the next um, iteration of the model. So basically I'm, I'm baking back the objects now, and then I can go back to here and update this geometry. And now you can see that I've got um, 700 elements that I'm wanting to delete and 388 elements that I'm wanting to keep in the model. So now when I run this analysis, I can see here that um, a lot of elements, uh, some of the elements in SAP have, have now been removed. I can see that my distribution in axial force has now changed a little bit as well. And now I can go back in here again and start to um, get a little bit more of an understanding on, on, the, um, on the distribution as well. So I can do that again, go back, update it, and now I can see that I've got 922 elements that are gone and I'm left with 242 elements. Again I can modify solve 
And what this is doing is every time it's opening that original template model and removing the, and removing the elements that I've um, accumulatively um, wanting to remove. Okay, now we can see again, we've got a, 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 a different um, axial force um, graph. And now I'm, I'm reasonably happy with the way that, the, with the way that, that it's um, come out. But I, again, I may want to keep some of these elements or, or whatever. So this is a very simple example on how you can do this type of stuff. The logic here is quite simple, um, but you can um, either sort of, I guess, change your logic um, in, in how you're determining whether you want to keep or exclude an element, um, potentially even add elements back in. Um, and you can also run this as a, as a loop as well. So um, LF run obviously can dynamically update and you can you could you could generate a, a break condition, um, but I think it works pretty well to just do it as a manual process um, to sort of start to understand um, on, on on how you can generate these types of um, frames and and workflows. I guess you can also start to add logic to tell you which which um, which elements shouldn't be deleted, such as maybe um, bottom chord, truss chords, or, or columns, or, or or whatever. Uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and um, yeah, happy to hear any suggestions or, or feedback that you you might have on these um, these new modify um, components that we that we've recently added. Thanks a lot.